Now there is one other thing I'll just kind of leave you with are some new motion elements from Max Relsky. These are actually kind of nice, but I picked them up earlier today. Let's pop a couple into the dealie here and see what happens. Media library. I like these motion elements. In fact, I have a free one for you guys. Another buddy of mine named Jesse Radford, who also does these motion elements, he gave me a free pack of them to play with, so I'll send that to you guys. I'll show you a quick example of how to use it. Let's see, elements, and there's all kinds of these. They're sometimes called animated icons. How about the target one? So here, I'll just add it to the timeline at playhead. And now, if I scrub through here, target kind of comes up, little arrow comes in and quivers and it falls off and another arrow swoops in so you can kind of adjust that or whatever you want to do put it wherever you want make it bigger make it smaller you can make it like bullet points if you wanna you know so they're MOV so they're wonderfully scalable yeah that, that looks pretty good I like that that's some of them another one that I kinda liked that I played with a little bit earlier are the uh, you call them callouts. So there's a bunch of bonuses and stuff too. I'll just grab one at random here. Now I put it in the clip bin. What I'll probably do is put all these into a library folder so I don't have to hunt for them. They'll just be right in my library. Let's see what that guy looks like. Callout. So let's add that timeline at playhead. Let's see what that looks like. So this, you can kind of use to almost point to stuff. And it kind of draws out and does this kind of space age thing, like a heads up display. Draws a circle. I think they have a pretty good, more practical demo of it. Probably mess with this a little bit in terms of size and position things like that. Maybe I want to highlight what's sitting on the desk there then have a, a text call out or something here. That might be fun. Ding, 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 ding. The nice thing about some of Max's stuff here is some of these motion elements, they'll just like stop. But he adds a nice exit to it. There we go. Uh, it, it adds a nice exit to it so they come in nice and then they go out nice but uh, let me show you a trick for working with some stuff like this in general so this thing lasts how long does it last uh, it's about 10 seconds well if I didn't want it there 10 seconds what I would normally do let's zoom in a little bit is I would make sure to go to the point where everything draws Okay, it's drawn the big circle, and now it's just kind of animating. Now it's just kind of, you know, rolling. Uh, what I could do is make sure everything is in, and then highlight to cut some stuff out. You know, I just don't want to go into my exit. There, there, it's starting to exit. So I could shorten this. I'd probably lock all my other tracks and just, you know, shorten it with a cut. So now it would go a lot quicker. I probably wouldn't mess with the clip speed because then my entrance here and exit would also go too fast. So I'd probably just cleave something out of the middle. But let's say I want it to last longer. So what I could do is, again, make a selection here of some amount. Let's right click and copy. Now I'll just go into the middle there, split this guy, and kind of paste that loopingness in the middle. And then scooch everything together. So now it's going to last this long. <laughs> 14 seconds. And of course, I can trim it. Not it lasts that much longer, or paste it again, 
and just kind of keep repeating the process. So if you kind of understand how things work, then you can make some modifications to stuff. And this should be pretty seamless. There we go. Yeah.